So we know the clouds are already here. Will the heavy rain follow? It's really a matter of where you are. Uh, yeah. These uh, storms right now are very, very selective, very widely scattered. Right now, only co uh, covering about 10% of the viewing area. Uh, although there's a thought that they could become a little more widespread as we move forward here in the next few hours time. So far, though, here in the Rockford Metro proper, we're OK. Let's take you out for a live look at our uh, Eldridge Roofing River Cam, where skies are overcast for the time being, but we've managed to stay dry at least in the city of Rockford proper. Uh, temperatures today have worked into the middle and upper 70s across the region. Galena, not as fortunate. You've had some rain cooled air out there. Uh, it's 64 degrees right now. Notice the dew points have swollen, so these thunderstorms have plenty of fuel to draw uh, to tap into. And so as long as we can uh, keep this unstable environment in place here between now and sunset, storms are a candidate to form really at any particular point in time. Winds out of the south continue to fuel these uh, thunderstorms and support that uh, moisture rich uh, environment that have allowed storms to blossom here in short order. We've heard from our colleagues at the National Weather Service regarding the storm that has recently developed in the past 20 minutes or so uh, in Lee County. It's not suspected to be severe. It, it is capable of producing some small hail. That's the only storm in progress in our immediate viewing area, but we've got our eyes on storms that had a history of being severe down toward LaSalle, Peru. A nasty storm just to the west of Peoria and a real nasty one southwest of Peoria. That one has a history of producing golf ball size hail and is continuing to be a significant hail producer. Now, this fear not is not an immediate candidate to enter our area. We would probably be talking about two and a half, three hours until it would even get into our southernmost reaches. And by that point in time, it's likely that will have weakened. But the wider view is showing a much more expansive shield of showers. That's going to be what's more likely for the entire area later on tonight. Uh, and early uh, into our Friday morning. That probably won't produce severe weather, but it's possible it could produce some locally heavy rainfall. Now our timecast model, the high resolution version of it, does suggest that showers and storms may pulse up here for the next couple of hours. Once the sun sets, though, uh, the activity will very quickly weaken. And while yes, there still could be some thunder and lightning that follows, uh, the severe weather threat is really confined to the next few hours up until at the very latest 9 p.m. It is a level one margin risk. Hail and gusty winds would be our primary threat here. But again, those threats are going to go down rather quickly in the hours ahead. Good news. We've uh, eliminated rain chances from the forecast on Friday. We will see more sunshine emerge after a somewhat cloudy start to the day. Saturday looks to get off uh, to a fine start. There is a possibility that late in the afternoon or at night, some scattered showers and storms may attempt to blossom. Uh, not expecting severe weather and we'll keep those chances only about 30% and then sunshine is back with us here for our Sunday. So by all accounts, we're staring at a pretty darn nice weekend. Tomorrow we'll head up into the low to mid 70s. I've got us topping out at 75 degrees and 78 on Saturday with showers and storms holding off to late or at night. Uh, a nighttime storm, a possibility Sunday, not a big deal. 71 our Sunday high, then we've got a first alert now for Monday and Tuesday. Initially it was just for Tuesday. Now it looks like these storms may arrive here uh, late to Monday night and could produce some heavy rain. As far as the severe weather threat goes, uh, Tuesday's a day to watch out for here and we'll continue to monitor that. Of course, our immediate term for, uh, focus though is on the storms that could occur in these next couple of hours. And we'll do just that. All right, thank Always you, Mark. Looking short term and long term. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mark.